Hey guys, welcome to this week's art video. So as I keep mentioning, I'm writing with the crew of NYX this year, and their signature throw is hand-decorated purses. If you want to catch one of these, then come to the crew of NYX parade tomorrow, February 7th. I'll be on float 31A on the bottom, neutral ground side towards the back. So I spent quite a while holed up in my studio working on these purses. I tried to use whatever materials I still had out, and I did end up having to go through already packed boxes to try to find other things that I needed because I packed up like half of my studio, so yeah. Anyway, my initial plan was to show the whole process of one of the bags and then just show random snippets of the other bags, but it got so hectic and I was working on bags as I could and I didn't keep track of which bag I was going to film from start to finish, so the snippets will have to do. Sorry guys, maybe if I ride again next year, I'll do a better decorating video. So here's the first bag that I finished this year. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you've probably seen this one already. I just thought it'd be kind of cute to decorate a purse with a bunch of soot sprites all over, so that's what I did. To give the little candy food things some dimension, and to glitter them without getting the colorful glitter all over the bag, I piped some puffy paint onto a plastic sheet and, while wet, sprinkled some glitter on top. Later in this video, you'll see me make more of these glitter transfer things with a different design. When they dry, you just peel them off and then glue them wherever you want. To make the soot sprites, I just did some black puffy paint straight onto the bag, and then I added the googly eyes. I ended up finding these black pom-pom things that reminded me of the soot sprites, so I decided to use them to make the handle. I basically just threaded some wire through the middle, attached it to the bag, and then popped some more googly eyes on those. I also had two extra pom-poms and a few extra candy food things, so I decided to make a pair of soot sprites from my desk. So here I'm making those glitter transfers I mentioned earlier. Obviously a different design some leaves. Also, I'm using mostly purple puffy paint, but the color didn't really matter much because I was going to cover it with glitter. I guess if your glitter is more translucent or something it would matter, but in this case it didn't. Anyway, I drew the leaf designs on a piece of paper and then used them as a guide for drawing the leaves out. I drew on the outlines, sprinkled black glitter, poured and tapped the extra glitter off, and then I repeated this again with the inner lighter gold colored glitter and then finished off the rest of the leaf with green and then I added some more straight green leafy fern things. Unfortunately I didn't record the peeling of the transfers and then attaching it to the bag so now we're just gonna move on to the next bag. For one of these bags I got it in my head that I really wanted to do an old Rococo style wig Initially, I was just going to do the wig and then make like a simple face or something to attach it to, but it quickly turned into me making the whole bust of a lady using polymer clay, and yeah, I basically sculpted a face and her neck and a little bit of her chest, and then I was going to attach some yarn onto it to make the wig. This was a good excuse to just practice my face sculpting skills. It was a lot of fun. I definitely want to revisit this in the future. Not necessarily for the purses, although I wouldn't be against that, but just like in my regular art, I guess. Since I don't really sculpt that much, I feel like the proportions on the face were a little bit wonky. Like her lips look too high up or something. I don't know, whatever. I just need practice. Um, oh yeah, and I added these bunny ear looking things to the top of her head because that's what I'm going to end up wrapping the yarn around to make the wig. It's just going to help make it look big and fluffy, I guess. It looks kind of silly right now, but it ends up making sense. So once I was done sculpting it, I baked it, and then I painted it. Since I did sculpt this on my messy workspace that I had been glittering stuff like for the last few days, a lot of glitter ended up in the clay, so there's just like specks of glitter. like. The clay ended up being pretty gross, so I had to paint it white again just to make it like a flat color, and then I went over and just did some light detailing, giving her some blush and then some eye makeup, a little beauty mark.
and then I sealed it with this Sculpey glaze stuff. And then I did the wig. For the big section of it, I tied some yarn together and then brushed it out so that it kind of separates the strands of yarn and makes it look more hair-like, I guess. I glued that on to the bunny ear things, and then I glued on some pieces to look like there was hair cascading on either side of her face, and then I made some that looked like there were curls on the side of her head, and yeah. I started adding random decorative pieces into her hair, and then my camera died. So I ended up decorating her the rest of the way off camera. And here she is. I basically ended up just gluing her to the bag and then calling it done there. I mean, I already went a little overboard for this one anyway. I have a little more footage of another decoration for another bag that I was working on, but I wanted to make it into its own art video. So here's a quick little snippet of this one and I'll post it in full probably next week. But yeah, here are a few of the purses that I did and that I'm particularly fond of this year. Again, if you wanna catch one of these, then come to the Crew of Nyx Parade. Tomorrow, I'll be on float 31A on the bottom, neutral ground side towards the back. Hope to see you guys there. I had, well, still have, quite a bit happening within the last few weeks. Traveling, being stressed about home buying, trying to pack, doing all the things I need to do for NYX. I did all this stuff for the masquerade, doing these purses, trying to edit these videos on time, and on top of all of that, I've been pretty sick. But I'm finally getting better. Well, it seems like I am anyway. And in just a few more weeks, I'll finally be able to take a little bit of a breather or something. Maybe. Hopefully. But anyway, speaking of being busy and stressed, I may have to delay this week's DIY a day. At this point, I'm not sure, but it's a possibility. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that point, though. I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up, just in case.